It's going to make you think about things that you never thought about before. You find out when your five when your daughter's born that there's a chance she could have breast cancer and die from it. The implications on things like that when it's not going to affect you for that long, and is it your right to know? Because it's not necessarily it's not going to affect you first person. It will affect your daughter. So should you have that information, or is that her information to have? It's fifty fifty. Some people believe that you shouldn't share it because of stigma. And some people believe that you should share it for information to get people informed and people around you will know. It's a huge ethical dilemma, really. Most of this is <laughs> um, it's ethical things that are, are the, the issue, not the science. Me personally, I, I'm all for the whole genome um, sequencing. And I'm thinking if there's an issue there, I'd rather know as a parent um, so that I could help put her on a treatment plan. Um, same with the heel prick test, I was all for it, I, 100%, because it tests for nine different conditions. And I think anything I can do to help my child, why not? We already manipulate our bodies and stuff so much with, with all vaccines and different stem cell therapy, things like that. Like this was, it was just a matter of time where this is just the next thing. Because think about a hundred years ago, we, we go, oh my God, a, an organ transplant? You can't do that. Why would you even think about doing that? It's dangerous. It's crazy. It's, it's so scary. And then now it's just so normal. And I think that this is going to get pretty pretty normal, pretty quick. And certainly with some queries around communication to the babies when they get older and who kind of holds this information and what does that person do with that information and, and what age is a right age to kind of um, give that information to the, the main patient. And like, if it was something pressing where it would affect the kid before they turned 18, I think that that's totally reasonable for if the parent wants to know, to, to know. Um, but again, we were talking about um, diseases that uh, that show, show themselves later on in life. And maybe that is something that you would wait and have the conversation with your kid about and say, here's your options. I like that everyone in our group, like across all mm -hmm. the groups, um, we're very like proceed with caution um, and just making sure that uh, privacy rights aren't infringed on. I think that was really important. Me personally, I my opinion would be that if someone was able to give me that information, I would want to know. I think in life we have a choice, the same way as a couple having a baby can choose whether or not they want to know the gender of the child. To me, the thing that has been clear all along is that it is a choice.